It's the royal romp that has had the world talking. The prince, the older woman and their secret tryst in a field. Now, following the release of Prince Harry's tell-all memoir, his first lover has revealed her identity. 21 years on from the encounter, digger driver Sasha Walpole has broken her silence to finally set the record straight. I didn't know Harry was a virgin at the time. Um, it wasn't until probably the next morning when I actually thought about it. I was a bit, oh no, not because of him being a prince. It was just the fact that I'd slept with one of my friends and it was Harry and, um, yeah. But then it kind of dawned on me that perhaps he was because obviously he'd never really had a girlfriend. I would never have said anything if he hadn't have put it in his book. Um, and he's brought this to me and I have to say it in my words, um, but otherwise it's going to get twisted and I wanted to get it across how it happened. The former friend of the prince says she was surprised he included that story in Spare after they'd kept their liaison under wraps for so long. Royal commentator Victoria Arbiter joins me now. Gee, you never know what we're going to talk about, do you, Victoria? Uh, more drama. What do you make of this? Good morning to you, Nat. Well, just when we thought we'd finished talking about Harry's Todger, here we are. But, you know, I understand her reasoning for wanting to speak out. She has sat on this story for 21 years. She could have sold it for a mint at any time, but she didn't. And I think that really speaks to her character. In the interview, she comes across as genuine, unassuming. She's quite self-deprecating. She clearly gets the humour, the bit about smacking him on the bum. She describes his bottom as a peach. He was young. Uh, but there's nothing malicious in her retelling. It's not like she's trying to exaggerate things, looking for her 15 minutes of fame. I think really she just wanted to put a lid on the story because there had been this global guessing game had started through Harry's telling of the story. It takes up four lines in the book, Nat, but it exploded into, was it Liz Hurley? Was it this polo player? Was it this interior designer? So now we know the answer and I think she's hoping that the story will just die down. But at least she's had a chance to share her side of it and with context. Yeah, and, you know, do you think she's sitting at home, now a pretty normal person, thinking, well, he's mentioned it, he is, yeah, she's a truck driver, you know, he's making a mozza out of this, now she is cashing in, isn't she asking something like £50,000 per country from each media outlet? Wow. I mean, that's first I've heard of the figures, Nat, and yes, that is an extraordinary sum, isn't it? But I think, you know, this is someone who doesn't appear to be seeking fame and glory. Again, she has sat on this for a very long time, but I think she is aware that this story was put out there without her consent. And sure, people like you and I would not have been able to immediately identify her. The details were pretty scarce, but she said enough people knew and there was enough detail there for people to associate to her. So she just wanted to really put the horse back in the stable, to coin a phrase, before <laughs> it all just got too much out of control. Yeah, and she said she'd like the pair to have a drink one day. Keep us up to date if that happens, Victoria. Thank you.